Well, for those of you wondering how Buddy's doing, he's doing just fine. He's gotten pretty big, to be honest. He's probably about 30 pounds now. But he is one heck of a cool dog. And if you didn't know, we found him on the side of the road. Somebody had apparently dropped him off on the side of an expressway, and he was howling and sad and scared, and he was really, really small at the time. But he's grown up, and he is one heck of a cool dog to have around. What's going on guys? So today you are in for a pretty interesting video. I am going to help a neighbor of mine remove a gigantic mesquite tree that he has on his property that uh, that's kind of block kind of an area where he's building something. So this is going to be really fun. I personally have never removed a really large tree stump yet with the 50G. And I know there's going to be some folks on here, especially folks who operate like 100 ton machines who are going to say that this is a toy and it's, it's you know, just something that isn't really designed to do anything major. But for me, it's bigger than a toy and it's certainly something that gets a lot done, especially if you don't need a huge 100 ton machine. That being said, we're going to help uh, remove a neighbor's big tree today. So this ought to be interesting.
trunk out of the ground. So this was certainly an interesting day. It took about an hour and a half total, and that is from the point of pretty much pulling off of our property, going over to that property and removing the tree piece by piece, and then pulling the stump out, cutting it down, and then coming back here. So it didn't take quite as long as I thought it would, to be honest. Uh, stumps are definitely a challenging thing to deal with, especially if you haven't done it before, because they can be uh, they can be rather stubborn to get out of the ground, and we experienced a little bit of that. It took repositioning the tractor several times, but we're able to get it done, and that's what matters. I uh, did this for free. I just wanted to spend some time in the tractor and get a little bit more acquainted with using the mini excavator for tasks like that, and it helps me get more proficient with it, which is really what matters. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.